I've been asked to do something for a group, like a small presentation on dashboarding and forecasting and how you put together like forward looking stuff instead of always looking back at financial statements. This is something that we have to do with clients when we do planning work. And I thought since I've been asked to do this for this group, I go ahead and turn it into a video. So that's what we're gonna be talking about. And I'm gonna cheat just a little bit because normally the stuff that I shoot today would be released tomorrow, but since it's Friday, I get like two extra days to work on it. So it may take a little bit longer. It'll come out on Monday when you see this. The analogy that I usually use to describe the difference in perspective between planning and traditional kind of financial work with your financial advisor, be a CPA or CFO or whomever, is that the traditional view looks a lot like this. You're looking in the rear view mirror and you're seeing everything that's already happened. You're always, always, always looking in the rear view mirror. And what we try to do when we do planning and dashboarding and that kind of stuff, what we're trying to accomplish is looking out the windshield. But I'm getting ahead of myself. There's one thing that has to happen before you can even do that. Before you do any dashboarding, there are some basic building blocks that you need to have in place. I know dashboards look sexy. I know your neighbor has them. I know your CPA said that you should get one, but if you, do, if you don't do your homework first, not only is the dashboard gonna be very, very hard to get right, it's gonna lead you in the wrong direction. You're gonna be staring down at a dashboard and you're getting in the same kind of trouble that you would get into if you were driving down the highway and never took your eyes off the speedometer. Here are the three things that I insist our clients have in place before we do any work on dashboards or scorecards or any of that stuff. Number one, you have to have good financials. And what I mean by financials are both accurate financials and they're timely, meaning that you get access to them. One of the standards that we work toward with all of our clients is getting their clothes down under five business days. So within the first week of the month, you already have all your financial statements prepared. They're ready to go. You can look at them. You can evaluate performance. You can check them against budget, all that kind of stuff. The second building block that you have to have in place is you have to have some kind of sales forecast for the next 12 months. Along with that sales forecast comes a cost of goods forecast. So not only do you have to know what you're going to sell, you have to know how much that stuff is going to cost you before you sell it. The third thing is good historic operating metrics. So these are things that there might be financial information in here, but it's also non-financial operational data. Here's a few examples of what I'm talking about. Retention, how many of your customers stay with you year after year? Average sale per customer, the top 20% customers, who's the top 20% that account for about 80% of your revenue? What's your most profitable product or service? And what is your operating capacity? How close are you to that? If you don't know those kind of operating metrics, not those specific, those are just examples, but your business has some pretty key operating metrics, things that you know you should know the answers to. And if you don't know the answers to those, go get them before you start building any kind of dashboard or scorecard. So you've got your dashboard, you've got your scorecard, you're using this great technology. And so what? What does this stuff help you do? Well, just like the dashboard in your car, if all you're ever doing is looking down at the dashboard, it's not going to help you get to your destination. What you need to get to your destination is a map. You need a good old fashioned map from point A to point B. And when you're looking at a map, you have to know not just where you are, but where you want to go. That's the vision of the organization and the route that you're going to take to get there. That's the strategy. Knowing what strategy you're going to pursue tells you which operating metrics should be on the dashboard. Knowing your vision tells you what financial numbers you're working toward on this dashboard and wh where the lines in the sand are, where are the standards where you judge success and failure. If you don't have that map, the dashboard can be really, really pretty, but that's all it does. It just tells you what's happening right now. It doesn't help you get anywhere. So dashboards are great. We love dashboards. We work on dashboards with every single client that we work on. But 
if you don't have the three foundational building blocks in place and if you don't don't have a map don't have a uh, if you haven't mapped out the strategy of where you are and where you're going and how you're going to get there that dashboard it's going to do you very very little good it's just going to be a pretty fixture in your conference room that you get to show off to strangers but they're going to look at your business and go so what i don't need this it's not helping them i don't see how it's really going to help me either so dashboards are very interesting but they're they're not the most important thing I'll see you guys tomorrow.